I have been extraordinarily productive. I've placed a lot of wood, like a lot of wood. As yeah, like like I a ridiculous amount of wood. Take a look at this. Our Omega Tree Base is definitely coming together. Oh, I am so happy I've done this. I think I spent all of yesterday just placing logs. I think I'm gonna fit one more route over here like I originally planned. And then, then we should have a completed tree stump. Is, is that what it's called? I figured it's probably better to show what I mean in the form of a third person time lapse. Now this is not gonna be a very long time lapse because placing wood logs over and over again may not be the most interesting thing, but I thought I'd speak a little bit about the different textures and stuff like that that we're gonna use in this build because I did mention that I will be using the bark blocks and in addition to that, I have quite a few other blocks that I'm, that I'm looking to use. For example, the strip bark, while being a completely different color than the brown bark, it actually looks very, very good as sort of a weathered feel to this. And if you see that when you look at this build from above, like you do here, you can see how important it is to have that different color in the build because without that, it all just becomes one big mess of the same color. So, in addition to the bark blocks, I've also been thinking about mushroom block, brown mushroom blocks, and I've been thinking about other brown colors such as brown terracotta and carpets and that sort of stuff. It's gonna be an exciting thing to texture, for sure. Well, we certainly still have a long way to go with this tree, but honestly, I think, I think we're getting pretty close. You just had to do it, didn't you? <laughs> you just had, you just had to point out that the mega belt of doom that I'm wearing over my eye <laughs> looks totally like an olive. Yeah. I do have quite a bit of wood left, although that's not that's not actually that much. I mean, it looks it looks a lot, but once I start building. These branches take a lot of wood, but hopefully we can get quite a bit of it done. I think I may have gone a little bit carried away. I've spent the past 11 hours on this branch and it's absolutely mega. It's huge. I haven't really spent that much time flying around, but this is this is def this is like a double branch. I feel like this is almost the size of the two other branches that I've done. This is yeah, this is huge. Let's see if we can land on Scar's walls. Please don't sting me. Look at that! Oh, I failed. Do you have a lever for a nose? Okay. Yeah, take a look at that. That is... That is looking absolutely insane. It's almost like I want to keep it without leaves now. Nope, don't worry. It's, it's gonna become an Omega Canopy. But it does look really, really cool. So the Mega Branch came out here and then I started with this thing here. And... Yeah, I mean... It, it's, it's gone out of hand. It's gone out of hand. I also went and collected a full new chunk of box of wood, which is almost, almost completely out again. And I'm still not fully happy with this. I've tried to do a little bit new shapes for where to place the leaves and stuff like that. But I think I'm gonna go like upwards with this branch. It's eventually, uh, it's eventually as well. I can't even talk. <laughs> I've played way too much Minecraft the past three days. I do have to clean up all of this stuff as well, because this is really bothering me. From a distance, it's, it's a little bit tough to tell the difference between the dirt, specifically from underneath, and, and the wood. And this is the worst when this happens. I gotta be super 
shovel skull. Ah, uh, oh, so close. Here we go. Yes, <laughs> got it. Getting pretty good at this. Even though this project is taking a ridiculous amount of time to construct, I feel like every time we add a branch or a sub branch, it really, really, really shows at the end of it. It's one of those things that don't really, it doesn't really feel like much is happening as I'm building it, but flying around it definitely gives me, definitely gives me a perspective of just of how large this project actually is. My goodness, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to start building buildings and stuff up here and having this all made up. I mean, look at that view. Look at that view. I guess the view from over here isn't as impressive. It's, it's mostly E and Alan. We in Double Figures. It's episode 10. In the previous episode, we built up this rather ridiculous looking structure, which from this angle doesn't actually look that ridiculous, but if you fly out, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a big one. <laughs> it's a big one, and this is the start. This is the beginnings of my base. So here's the deal. I've got three days until this video is supposed to release. It is currently 9 a.m. on Friday morning and this episode is releasing at 8 p.m. on Sunday night. Obviously, I've got to do some editing in that time of this video and I have to sleep and eat and do all those other things. But other than that, my time, all my time is available for Minecrafting. Okay, and I, I just want to see how much I can get done. All right, so let's, I mean, let's just get the ball rolling. Oh, goodness me, that's an issue. This is a straight up issue. <laughs> this is an issue. This is an issue. I, and I don't know what to do about it. Uh, I think maybe it might be smart if I move the area that I make the concrete away from all my valuables. That worked quite nicely, didn't have any more creeper related incidents. And now we have a tonnage, a tonnage of light gray concrete. That's probably enough to do one more tower. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not joking. In fact, it seems like I'm going to be miles off because I've almost run out and I've only got one half of it built. The other half that I've just started, I've actually built in the wrong place somehow. I'm not entirely sure how, but that's what I've done. Well, that was frustrating, but I've managed. I took it all down and I started again and it's now all constructed. This is the first of seven that we have to build in today's episode. And that's seven frameworks and then we have to do all the filling in. Oh, and it used all of that grey concrete. So that means to make... I'm going to do two now. And that means that I need to make three inventories full. Which is quite a lot. I think this could take more than three days. Yeah, it definitely will if I keep doing things like this. <laughs> so I've built up I've built up another one. That's just over there. And I've just almost finished this one. And then I've realized that I've actually built it one block too far to the left. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm laughing because otherwise I'd be crying. Okay, and I've, I think I'm doing both at the same time right now. To be frankly honest. <laughs> one day down, two to go. This is how far we've managed to get. And yeah, I mean, I, I'm a, are we behind the schedule? We might be a bit, I, I don't know. <laughs> it does look good though. It does. I don't know why my voice is stuck so high. All right, we're now two hours into this specific tower here, just this tower. And things are going well. I mean, I've finally managed to work out a system of how to build this effectively and not easily. Easily is not the term that I would use, but at least it is now starting to make sense. So I'm starting to find a rhythm with it. And now I think we're kind of on the home straight of getting this shape completed. And another couple hours later, the outline is now all fully completed. <laughs> I'm hoping, okay, I'm hoping that the next one should be a lot faster because I've now learned how it functions. But goodness me, when we fly around this place, this looks so wild. <laughs> this looks totally nuts. Look at this place. It's enormous. I mean, 
It's also going to be really cool having Iskal's base as well, just on the horizon. Just two enormous, enormous structures just dominating the landscape. We now have nine hours to go until this episode airs, and I think that should hopefully be just enough time for me to build the other two diagonals. So I've worked out where this thing needs to go, and now I need to just start chucking blocks in place. Absolutely mega. Absolutely mega. And I've got to say, my new favorite view of the base now is from up here. <laughs> wow, that looks like something from a different planet. That looks like something from a different planet. And I am so pleased that I've been so meticulous with my measurements because all of these things perfectly line up. They're all perfectly proportioned. They're all on the correct angles and in the correct places. I would cry. I would really cry if I found anything wrong, but everything has been checked to the T. Imagine how dramatic it's going to look with an old, ancient, ruinous tower coming up through the center, and also when Iskal's tree is finished as well. Like, imagine how ridiculous this area is going to look. <laughs> and, and, and when they're filled, I, f I keep forgetting, this is like that. This isn't even their final form. This is not, this is not how they're going to be. They're... All of them are going to be fully filled in with this. They're going to have the accents on them. So that in itself is going to look mad. And that in itself is a mega, mega, mega project. We're in like the final footsteps here. We're in the final footsteps. Look at this tiny amount of space that we have left to do. I'm kind of running out of running metaphors now, I guess. Crossing the finish line. We just crossed the finish line. God, that was a dull way to say that we finished this huge, enormous project that has taken me likely around about 80 hours. <laughs> me just not being able to find the words. We've crossed the finish line. That's what, that's what I chose to say. And my purple belt is there making me look stupid. I'm gonna go into the nether. I'm gonna see if I can get a higher rank. What am I doing? That's not the priority. Let's actually look at the base. Honestly, I, I don't, I, I think what might have happened here is I genuinely don't know how to react to this. <laughs> I don't know how to react to the fact that I've just finished the outside of my base. Whoa. Oh my goodness, that's a change. Oh. Oh my goodness, look at this. We've actually done it. We've built them. <laughs> We've built the outside. That looks bonkers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hermitcraft. Last time we worked on the digging out of the base of the pyramid and you can see uh, all the blocks from this area we dug out over here, excuse me llamas, uh, right over here. This whole area uh, has been deposited into these chests right here. So yeah, you can see some of that. There's some stone in there. There's some sand. There's more sandstone. And yeah, I was actually curious how many blocks of sandstone and sand we dug out. So. We can actually look into our statistics here. Let me just walk on through here. Uh, by the way, read all about it. Head game victory after... <laughs> and yeah, Cleo is actually out there updating this right now. Um, and so I've been like watching her like write this title. And then, yeah, I guess she's going to be uh, writing like a, a newspaper article here uh, that is going to detail the head victory and who won and who came in second and who came in third and etc. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so... Well, yeah, let's check our statistics about the sandstone and the sand. We go here to times mined. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. 104,000 sandstone and 75,000 sand uh, is how much uh, of those blocks we got. So not too shabby. Not too shabby. Anyways, um, right now what we're doing is we are still smelting up some sandstone in our smelter. You can see it all rolling in here. And we are going to have to start today to craft this stuff stuff up into uh, some stairs. Much later, after crafting an incredible amount of stairs... Alright ladies and gentlemen, so we got ourselves a whole bunch of smooth sandstone stairs. As you can see here, we're crafting up a little bit more here. There we go. Alright, and we'll put these into this shulker box. So I think we have like 10 or so shulker boxes. Not that one. <laughs> 
Uh, oh, smooth sandstone stairs. So, yeah. See a few of those right here. And, yeah, I think we're going to start to build the pyramid now. Uh, since we've been crafting those up and smelting those up. I think what we're going to do is we're going to start on this quarter. So this side right here that we're flying over right here. Um, just because that's closest to the small pyramid that we can keep the smelter going. Uh, which we're going to need to uh, get all this smooth sandstone. So I think that's a pretty good idea. Uh, the plan is just for right now at least to build it just straight up like we have here with this smaller pyramid. So just, you know, straight up like that. So that is the plan. Let me go ahead and grab these shulker boxes worth of stairs. I think we're good on this thing for a while now. Oh, we might need to refill it with some sandstone soon. Um, yeah, we might need to do that soon, but um, let me go ahead and grab all these, and we're going to start to, uh, yeah, build up this quarter of the pyramid. So I'll probably go into a little bit of a time lapse here, see how far just this stuff we've got so far gets us, and yeah, we'll see how far up we can make this thing go. Well, guys, I got some good news, and I got some bad news. The good news is we got this quarter of the pyramid done. The bad news is there is no time lapse because the replay mod is still in development, and I encountered an issue when recording the replay. However, there is a Twitch stream, which we did to finish, like, the top, I want to say, like, third or top half of the pyramid, roughly. So if I open the door here, you will see that has now been altered. So instead of the sand, instead of the uh, the sandstone, we have the dark prismarine now. There we go. Looks a little bit more official. So I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty nice. And yeah, I like the way this thing looks now. So hopefully you guys do as well. So we're gonna open the door back up here. Coming on down like so. Takes just a little bit of time, and there we have it, guys. So For now, I think we're going to leave it, and I think what we'll do now is we're going to... Uh, in the meantime, though, I've been doing a lot of purchasing for the pyramid here, uh, and yeah, we got a new update to the ledger. I will show you guys that in a moment. We fly on through here. Can I make it? Oh, look at that. So smooth. Okay, yeah, so... Uh, new update on Ledger, we now have a total investment in this pyramid of 683 diamonds because we bought even more honeycomb uh, from Asuma. Asuma reached deep into his vaults and he pulled out this. So we bought this for uh, one diamond per uh, stack of honeycomb since we're doing such a big order. Uh, so that was another 43 diamonds uh, into the total investment of this pyramid. And yeah, I think our new goal this season is to make this pyramid the most expensive structure on the server, on the entire server.